Hello, Connected Digital World. This is Alex Toplansky, creative producer of Dead Island Riptide. Thanks for watching. Next month, Deep Silver will be releasing Dead Island Riptide, which is the sequel to, well, Dead Island. In the game, you basically have to kill, slash, run over, burn, and do whatever you can to survive a load of zombies. And this game's no exception. We recently got to play some of it, and we've got some gameplay footage for you here. We also got to interview Alex Toplansky. So, enjoy the interview, and uh, sorry about the location and the noise, it's a little bit strange, you'll see in the video what I mean. It... I am, I'm, hi, I'm Alex Toplansky, um, I'm the uh, creative producer for Dead Island Riptide, and I'm um, from Deep Silver. Great, so tell us about Dead Island Riptide then. Absolutely, so Dead Island Riptide is the next big installment in the Dead Island franchise. Um, we're kind of picking up right off, right off from where uh, Dead Island uh, left off. Um, we had this moment of kind of the, all these characters in a helicopter together and we didn't quite know what was going to happen to them. Now we're going to have a chance to go straight into uh, all the events that take place after that. Um, Riptide is a big game. It's um, got a ton of new content to offer and takes place on a whole new island, the island of Pavanai, um, uh, nearby Banoi. So if people haven't played the first game, is it going to affect them playing the second? Um, yeah, you know, we definitely wanted to make sure that we could come right at uh, new players without them feeling, you know, left out of anything like that. Um, we, we still want to make sure that there's a really accessible chance to get into the game. We've got a nice prologue that kind of brings you up to speed on it. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I, I think there's a lot for new players to love. Of course, for experienced players coming back, uh, there are lots of cool features. There's um, character import, uh, there are um, new, you know, customizable loadouts and stuff like that for the different characters. Um, there are, uh, yeah, all kinds of new skills, weapons, things like that, so. And we've got some new characters. We do. Um, we have our fifth playable hero, John Morgan. Um, John is uh, an Australian Navy guy, and uh, he's kind of um, always been wanting to, to get up and do some hand-to-hand -hand fighting, and now he's finally going to get his chance. Uh, he's a melee, uh, or, or a martial arts sort of unarmed specialist, um, and uh, he's got some really cool abilities that he comes with. He's got a, a big running kick that can knock guys way back. Um, he's got a, a, a cool fury move where he pulls out a baton and kind of wails on guys and stuff like that, but um, lots of cool strikes up to sleep, so we're excited to see how players uh, play him. And he swears a lot, so I like him. <laughs> um, <laughs> So obviously there's a campaign mode for single yep. player, um, there's multiplayer mm -hmm. and there's co-op. So yeah, well, so, so co-op is, is multiplayer, so we, we kind of have this online co-op experience um, and that, that is sort of the multiplayer focus of the game. Um, we, we kind of think of them as sort of two halves of the same coin. Um, we want to make sure that they're both able to deliver um, a similar kind of uh, cool survival experience that, that sort of you make your own through the way that you find these creative kills for these zombies and your, your, your cool improvised arsenal of weapons. Um, so we, we want to make sure that, that all of this stuff is available for, for single players and, and it will be there. Um, but we also feel the game really shines in co-op and, and to that end we've added a lot of cool co-op features, um, communication stuff that makes it easy with a contextual ping to know where uh, things are and, and, and what you want your, your friends to do. Um, we've also got some really cool game modes that facilitate co-op gameplay, things like um, these big hub defense missions um, that you've maybe seen uh, that uh, let us do things like you know set up fences, mines, prepare for a huge zombie invasion, and then just watch as they come in and, and roll in and we start getting to shoot them all down with miniguns and stuff. So you said during the presentation we had that uh, there are a number of elements within the game you've developed based on fan videos. Yeah. So do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. I mean, one, one specific one that always comes to mind is um, one of our favorite videos was this Fist of the Dead Star video where, uh, you know, these guys are getting just punched back with these huge swings and stuff like that. That was actually uh, one of the, the inspirations for, um, you know, some of John's skills, including his fury skill, these rapid fire um, melee attacks. Uh, you know. We, we are always on the lookout for some of the, the things that fans do and, and you know it's it's just this, this creativity in our fan base is really um, pretty impressive so we're always uh, trying to uh, trying to look out for that yeah I know this is, this is crazy yeah for those who uh, are watching we're actually in a, sort of an underground room at the moment with the, the tube trains above us so everything is shaking the bottles are rattling yeah you'll just, you'll just do some editing and I'll edit that out. Um,
so what else can you tell us about the game that people may not uh, know? Man, uh, yeah. Um, what else can I can I say about the game without um, obviously uh, giving? Yeah, I'm not going to spoil away. everything. Um, no, there there are a couple of really cool things uh, that, that we're adding as well. Um, we've got uh, some new signature locations, things like this beautiful city of Henderson that have been added to the game. Um, that's uh, a, a nice sort of departure from the really kind of dirty. Um, uh, muddy city of, of Moresby in the first game. Uh, we've got uh, some really cool opportunities to, um, you know, trick out your character just the way we, you want it. We've got this uh, weapon proficiency system that helps you specialize in a weapon class that you really love, improve the durability with those weapons that you really uh, come to get into. And um, another thing that some people may not know is that we've really um, revamped our, our firearms a lot. Um, and we've uh, made it possible for, for players to have that as kind of a whole viable way of playing now, rather than sort of a luxurious thing that, you know, if you ever have, you know, five bullets, it's like, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm awesome now, you know, but we, we wanted to make sure that uh, there's, there's better targeting and ballistic systems, damage zones work um, more accurately, and so that's all been improved as well. And uh, we've, we've also uh, really improved the uh, zombie physics and animation, so these, these hits that they take that are more, you know, natural and fluid and, and realistic looking um, is something that'll really help uh, as well, but it's something that uh, isn't necessarily something people would know from, from what we've said so far. Tell us a little bit about that. How did you go around revamping that? Um, you know, it's 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 always uh, you know a, a question of what what do you want to focus on because in, in, in games and in interactive medium you can kind of spin any any visual effect any way that you want. But but for us, the real primary thing was to to look at how can we make these kills more entertaining to watch, more fun to, to do and to execute. And so what we wanted was you know for things like. You know, the heads to just snap around the right way and you know, fall on the right object. Um, one of our favorite things uh, that, that we made sure to put in there was the ability to, you know, when you kick a guy across a room or you've got him knocked way back, to sometimes even have the environment do some of the dirty work for you and be the thing that, you know, his arm hits a lamppost and then rips off and stuff. It's kind of these stylish kills. Um, so that was a big priority in making this animation system work better. And obviously there's quite a lot of water in the game. Obviously yeah. the fact it's got Riptide in the title gives it away. Absolutely. Um, what have you done to ensure that the water effects are as realistic as possible within yeah. a zombie game? Obviously? Yeah. So, 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 um, so as, as we always say on the team, that you know, the tide is rising for, for humanity and, and the stakes are getting higher here. Um, these flood waters are, uh, you know, we, we've, we put a lot of love into them. We've got um, really cool and beautiful shaders in the jungles, this kind of murky water. You never know what's going to pop out. Um, but we've also, you know, got in our weather system, the, the pounding rains can really change the whole character of the surfaces you're looking at. And, you know, things that were, you know, nice and kind of um, crisp a moment ago are now slick and crazy, you know, the next minute. So um, there, there's been a lot of, of uh, that graphics-wise. Um, but also, you know, gameplay-wise, uh, water is, is something that's all over the place in Riptide. Um, it's it's going to be uh, removing it, getting over it, um, clearing it is, is going to be a subject of a lot of uh, quest stuff. And um, we've also got, you know, enemies like our drowners that will use it um, to their advantage to kind of lie in wait for you and, and, and come up unpredictably out of it. So we want, we want the water to be something that the players are actually trained to be a little bit afraid of, even when it's something that's really beautiful. And there's also vehicles. Yes, absolutely. So we, we, we don't just want players to be totally terrified by ever getting near the water. In fact, we, we want them to have even a little mastery over it. So we've included our, our boats in the game, um, which, uh, you know, one of the things that players always wanted to be able to do with the trucks was to kind of, you know, just have this, like, tank that they were, you know, rolling around in. And um, what we've been able to do with the boats now is, is be able to shoot out the sides of them. So you've kind of got this mobile gunship where you're sort of out, out, on all guns blazing going through these jungle rivers. And uh, you're also going to have the zombies popping out all along the way trying to kind of, you know, uh, claw their way into the boat and, 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 you know, threaten the whole crew. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And what's the reaction been from people who've seen the game? Um, you know, I think we've, we've had a really, uh, really positive response. We've been really excited to see that, um, you know, people uh, did want to see more um, of, of, of the same kind of um, entertaining, a uh, little bit maybe over the top stuff that we, that we love to see. And so, yeah, so far we've been really impressed by, by the fan response and, and the media response. And obviously the game's not out just yet, but mm -hmm. any thoughts for DLC or future enhancements for the um, game? You know, we've, we've got our, we've got our, uh, our pre-order DLC, we've got our, um, uh, you know, the barbecue blade and survival pack. Uh, we've also got our, our fashion victim skins, but at the moment that's, that's all we've got in the pipeline. And when's the game out? Um, the game is coming out uh, in North America on the 23rd, for, um, sorry, April 23rd, and uh, in Europe on uh, April 26th. And what formats? It's going to be available on PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. Thank you very much. Yep, thanks so much for your time.